Hey guys, it's your girl Chrissy Chella here and I'm back at it again with another abs challenge that I know you're gonna absolutely love. You loved my six minute abs challenge on my YouTube channel, so now I'm coming in hot with another challenge. For the next seven days, I challenge you to do this five minute abs challenge in the comfort of your own home. No equipment required, do it whilst you're watching Netflix. Tag a friend in the comment below to share this video and challenge them too. It's seven days, five minutes, that's it no equipment and anybody can do it. So without further ado, give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. So this five minute ab workout consists of 10 exercises which you will perform for 30 seconds each. You will perform one after the other for 30 seconds accumulating to one minute. After one minute is up, you get a 10 second rest and then you go on to the next segment. Let's go. The first exercise is a bent leg crunch. Now this is hard, so please control this movement. Breathe in out as you come to the top and then breathe in, in as you come to the bottom. As you can see here, I'm crunching my core and trying to hit my ankles as much as possible. Keep on going, you're nearly there. Breathe in as you come up, which is gonna help you contract your core. Going straight into a bent leg knee hug. And now I absolutely love this exercise. The aim of the game is to push your core to the ground as much as possible. This is gonna contract your core into a different level. It might look easy, but trust me, it's gonna burn. Keeping that chin nice and tucked in, breathing out as you bring one leg close to your body. Taking a 10 second rest, getting yourself into the next position. Now this is gonna be hard, so if this gets overwhelming, you can go down on your knees. The first exercise is a plank shoulder tap. So the aim of the game here is you don't wanna be bouncing around too much side to side. Keeping that core nice and tight at all times by breathing out and breathing in. As you can see, I'm taking my time and my core is nice and stabilized. If this gets too much, go on your knees and perform the movement on your knees. Going straight into a plank arm out. Now this is difficult as well, so I want you to lower those hips, contract that core and stack your shoulders. Your shoulder, elbow and wrist should be in alignment. If this gets too much, remember go down on your knees and come back up. Avoid bouncing side to side, keeping that core nice and contract at all times. Keep on going. Straight into a 10 second rest, but now you wanna get yourself into the third position. At this point, I was suffering, so if you are too, just keep on going, we're nearly there, I know it's difficult. We're gonna go into a nice, slow and steady bicycle crunch. Elbow and knee touching, opposites touching and contracting your core. As your elbow and knee come together, you wanna to blow some air out of your core, just like so. As you can see here, I'm breathing in and then breathing out. I was suffering at this point. Um, I actually remember saying, oh my gosh, this is killing me in my head, but just keep on going. Going into a bent leg toe tap. Now, some of these movements might look a little bit easy, but don't let them fool you. This is going to literally burn your entire core so bear with me we're nearly there do not stop i know this is killing you right now but you're nearly at the finish line i promise you keep on going breathing out as your toes tap the floor nearly there having a 10 second rest getting yourself ready for the next segment of this workout We're going straight into scissors. I absolutely love this movement so much. We're firing up that core even more here, contracting your core and focusing on your breathing. Can you see how slow and steady I'm taking my time? I'm not rushing these movements. Your core is all about you contracting and breathing properly and taking your time. There's no need to rush. You're nearly there, don't stop. 
going straight into a leg raise. Remember the aim of the game, your toes should not touch the floor. As you can see, I'm keeping my hands nice and tucked into my booty. This is gonna help me really stabilize my core that much more. Pushing my core down, you don't wanna have any arches and avoid your back coming off the floor. Taking a 10 second rest, at this point, you're gonna be contemplating your life, but guess what? You're at the finish line. One minute left, one minute left. We're going into a high plank opposite toe tap. So your hand should be touching the opposite toe as you come down. Your core should be nice and contracted. Focus on your breathing here and look how slow and steady I'm taking my time here. I'm not rushing. Nearly at the finish line. Not long left, keep on going. Don't think about it, just hear, hear my voice and keep on going. Last exercise, give me everything you've got for a slow mountain climber. Yes, a slow mountain climber. Nearly there. Bringing that knee nice and tucked in, shoulders stacked. You can see my spine is nice and straight as well. Nearly there, keep on going. Four, three, two, one, and you are done. You should be feeling so proud of yourself. As you can see, I was suffering, but we did it, and I'm so, so proud of you.